co-witness. She faced him down in the middle of the road, drunken with love, with fear of loneliness, confused by a sense of, of fighting for what she thought belonged to her, not expecting a pistol's bullet to open her flesh. I saw the bitter rage in his blind eye as he drove off with no concern, we fixed gazes, locked and loaded on my 10-year-old gawkiness, his 20-something eyes engraved my record. I felt the hollow in places I did not recognize, frantically searching where her body had fallen. I was lassoed away with my brothers to safety. No words could explain the bullet and her disappearance. Clouds hover like birds of prey during the day and at night. Behind wrought iron, our perimeter was delineated by watchful eyes and a rusted pistol who order us to go inside. I imagine her soul like a runaway slave, traveling at night through cow pastures and behind barbed wire, deep in the snake-filled woods and sleeping on impromptu beds of leaves, giving her pound of flesh, trying to reach her underground railroad haven, almost suffocating on the laundry breastplate inside a cardboard box. Hearing our voices, have you seen my mommy? Wanting to reach out to us, knowing she had to wait for the storm to pass before she could dance in the rain.